Sacramento, California native. I am also a love-themed pinup. I've been doing pinup for about five years, but I've had a love for pinup hair and makeup and vintage clothing my entire life. This is my little baby boy, Jiggy. He is my last remaining surviving uh, rescue dog. I actually rescued him from an abandoned house with a rope tied around his neck. 
Yes, I know. But he's here to give love and spread love. And thank you guys so much for showing up to support us. We all work so hard to come out here and give you guys the beauty. <laughs> thank you. Please welcome contestant number 10, Stiletto Strangler. Hi, I'm Stiletto Strangler. I've been doing pinup off and on for about 10 years. It's been a while. Um, I love hounds and I love hot rods. I especially love working on the hot rods. I love my fingers getting greasy and I love doing all the body work. Oh. Please welcome contestant number 11, Miss Lena Dahl. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. I am Anna Miss Lena Dahl. This is my first time ever competing and I am so thankful for all of you guys for being here for the animals. And um, yeah, thank you for joining us. I do want to say that I love all things vintage. I have for a very long time. My favorite classic vehicle is 1958 uh, Chevy Bel Air. And I hope I see one out there today. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, contestant number 12, Lilo. Hi, how's it going? My name's Lilo. Um, I'm just an amateur. I love animals so much. Um, my two dogs are my best friends. <laughs> um, my 54 is right over there if you want to check it out. It's bright blue and a uh, green top. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting the animals. That's why we're here, because we love animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's hear it for these beautiful women. So can we be a little bit louder for them? All right, we're going to move right into our questioning portion of the competition, starting at the top with Miss Luscious Lizzie. Come on up. All right, Luscious Lizzie. If you could live anywhere, where would it be and why? Okay, so this has been a dream for a very long time. I would live in Bali because the sunken temples you can dive to and the beaches I could lay on would be fabulous. So that's where I'd be going. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Miss Cherry Moon, come on up. <laughs> All right, Cherry. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? You'd think it'd be cherries, but um, no, it would be spaghetti, and it's such a sentimental meal for me. It goes back to my childhood. My, my aunt always made it and still does to this day when I go and see her. Thank you, Cherry. Woo! Contestant number three, Miss Lexi Lux, please come to the stage. All right, Lexi. If you could insert yourself into a TV show or a movie, which one would you choose and why? Well, hands down, The Golden Girls, uh, because my decor is already Tropical Grandma, and it's a lifelong dream to live with Miss Betty White. <laughs> Contestant number four, Whitney Von Peppercorn. <laughs> All right, Whitney, do you have any special skills or talents? I do. Um, I'm an energy healer, and I love to help others uh, be empowered, feel empowered, and help them find their calling in life. And I'm also a pretty shot. Wow. Contestant number five, Miss Rain West. If you could be an animal, which one would you be? And tell us why. Well, Miss Carly Jane, I would have to say I would be a tiger. They are maybe fierce, well, strong, females, and leaders of the pack. That's why I would be a tiger. <laughs> All right, contestant number six, Teresita La Vintage. Can you please tell us about your favorite season or holiday? I would love to. It's summertime because all the hot rods and pinups come out. <laughs> Contestant number seven, Lola Jean. What is
is your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment was finishing my bachelor's degree. It took me eight years. I really struggled through it, and um, it was taught me that I could do anything, and I have since gotten two master's degrees. Contestant so. number eight, Lucy Spooky. Miss Lucy, please tell us about the outfit you are wearing today. Okay, so a little backstory. For the longest time, I felt like I really couldn't express myself in the way that truly felt me. So I kind of hid in just like normal clothes. But I started really getting into vintage dressing, a lot of this pin girl up, or pin up girl style. And I also really found that I do love spooky stuff. And when I saw this dress, and it was the perfect combination, I almost died of excitement. Um, I can't tell you where I got it. It was online, and I saw ads for it everywhere. And I kind of made my mom get it for me, even though I'm an adult. Don't judge me. But um, I absolutely love it. Thank you. <laughs> Contestant number nine, Cherub Nightingale. Cherub. What did you want to be when you grew up and does it resemble your career today? Thank you so much for that question, Carly. So as a child, I was actually a child performer. So I was in the Sacramento Ballet for eight years. I was in the San Francisco Ballet. I did music, circus, and theater. So I always thought I was gonna be a performer. But I had some things that steered me the other way. And now I'm a professional hair and makeup artist, costume maker, seamstress, wig stylist, and a singer. So I did make my outfit today, and it's just my career has come full circle ever since I was a young girl to be doing all the things I was passionate about as a little girl. Thank you guys. Contestant number 10, Stiletto Strangler. Woo! All right, Stiletto. What would you do if you won the lottery? I would buy all of my friends a Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I would buy a roller rink so I can roller skate for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Contestant number 11, Miss Lena Doll. Lena Doll, what or who inspires you? I would say my children inspire me. They inspire me to be the best person I can be. I want them to look up to me and say, wow, my mom is really cool. She really gets up there and goes on stage in front of all these people that don't even know her or just does whatever comes her way. So it's my children that inspire me. All right, contestant number 12, Lilo. Miss Lilo, what is your life's theme song? And the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. The drums keep pounding rhythm to the brain. Laddy daddy dee. Laddy daddy da. All right, let's have a huge round of applause for these ladies. We are going to take a break. The judges are going to do their scores, and we'll be back. Thanks, everyone. and hot rods. Stiletto Strangler. Oh, Mavis, you look so cute. Let's give her a round of applause, you guys. Our second place queen, our first runner up, Lucy Spooky. Two winners, 
really. Right? <laughs> A drum roll. And our queen of Miss Pounds and Hot Rods 2024, Sheriff Nightingale! Let's put on some music and give these girls a round of applause. Congratulations. Thank you so much for coming out. I'd like to say a special thank you to our judges, for all these girls that competed today. Thank you so much. Came along.